How do intermediate filaments help prevent blisters of the skin? The intermediate filaments are a part of the cytoskeleton of the cell. A cell has various organelles and a nucleus. In addition to that, there are many protein fibers that run across the cell. And these protein fibers make up the cytoskeleton of the cell. One of these is the intermediate filaments. In a cell, the intermediate filaments usually connect the nucleus of the cell with the cell membrane. So the center of the cell has a nucleus and from there arises some protein fibers that connect the nuclear membrane with the cell membrane. Intermediate filaments appear to radiate from and to reinforce areas of a cell that are subject to tensile stress. Say this is a cell, the forces that act on either side of the cell which causes the stretching of the cell are known as the tensile forces. And due to the tensile force, the cell elongates, that is it stretches longitudinally and the center cross section of the cell reduces because of the stretch. And the force that acts per unit area of the cell is known as the tensile stress. So intermediate filaments appear to radiate from and to reinforce areas of the cell that are subject to this tensile stress that causes the stretching of the cell. This is an image representing the distribution of intermediate filaments within the cells. Here there are four cells which are adjacent to each other. And you see some red fibers running across these cells. These are the intermediate filaments. You can see that the intermediate filaments run across the cell on various directions and they connect the membrane of the nucleus with the membrane of the cell. And that way they form a tough resilient structure within the cell preventing the excess stretch of the cells. In the skin cells, that is the skin cells are known as the keratinocytes, the intermediate filaments are formed by keratin subunits. And in the skin cell, the keratin intermediate filaments form a tough resilient structure which prevents excessive stretching of the skin thereby preventing blisters of the skin. If intermediate filaments are not proper, if they are defective or damaged, then that can lead to excessive stretching causing blisters of the skin. To summarize, the intermediate filaments help the cells to resist external pressure and prevent excessive stretching. When they are absent, the cells rupture more easily and when they are abnormal, skin blisters are more common. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you like it, do click the thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave your feedback in the comments below and do subscribe to get posted whenever I upload a new video. See you next time. Until then, happy learning.